Petty cash. It's cash that we have. What do we use it for? Where is it at? Okay, think just in general terms. Like, let's say, let's say this room's a business, people come in and they, they buy whatever. If we have petty cash, petty cash is just cash that sits, like, in the secretary's drawer. If someone comes in selling Girl Scout cookies, she might buy that out of petty cash. Um, if she accidentally runs out of a pen, she might go to the store real quick and buy it out of petty cash. Okay? It's not used for our normal, like, let's say monthly we buy. We need pens, paper, tape, all that stuff. Every month we go make a supply run. That wouldn't be petty cash. Um, <clears throat> every month we buy our computers that we're gonna sell. That doesn't come out of petty cash. Petty cash is just used for like emergencies. Um, if the Culligan man comes and we need our water tank refilled, they might pay for that out of petty cash, okay? So we're gonna take cash out of our normal cash account and we're gonna put it into this separate account called petty cash. And it's just used basically for emergencies or little things. Okay. So when we would um, set that up originally, we're going to take cash out. So let's say we set it up for 500 bucks. We would debit or credit cash for taking cash out. Credit cash for 500. And then we're setting up this petty cash fund. We've never had it before. So we're going to call this account petty cash. And then we're going to credit or debit petty cash. Debit. debit. Okay. So there, we just set it up. Boom. Easy. Now, a month goes by, two months goes by, whatever. We've paid for some stuff. We bought some Girl Scout cookies and we refilled our water and all that. This is running low. We need to fill this back up. The transaction to replenish petty cash, to fill this back up, <coughs> is gonna be different. You would think you would just credit cash and debit petty cash again, right? That seems like the simple way. That's not what we're gonna do. What, what if we did that? What if we wanted to go back up to 500 so we credited cash, and we debited petty cash for another 500. What's our new balance? Did you lose it? Now, if we credit this again, if we have two credits, we add, right? So if we add these together, our balance is now 1,000. Do we really have $1,000 in petty cash? No, because we spent it. So this is not what we want to do to replenish it. That's only to set it up. So to replenish petty cash, once we've used it, we gotta figure out what we spent it on. So the secretary has this cash in the drawer. If she's keeping track of where it all goes, then we're gonna have multiple accounts. Let's say we had one for, we'll just call one miscellaneous. Let's say one was repairs. Maybe the copier broke and she didn't have the checkbook. So maybe we have a repair expense. And let's say there was another one we had snacks. She buys snacks every Friday. So we have a snack expense. So she's going to keep track of where all that money went in petty cash. Can you see that? Okay, so she's going to keep track of where this all went. So when it goes time to replenish it, we still need more cash. So where's that going to come from? Come from our cash. Come from our cash. This we've spent. Okay, we had five hundred dollars in petty cash. We spent it all. So we got to fill it back up. To fill it back up, we take cash out of our regular cash account. So we're going to debit this again. Let's say we're putting, we need to fill 400 back up. We spent $400. Now we're going to track where all this petty cash money went. If we just add it back to petty cash, that doubles our balance. That's no good. So we're going to track where it all went. What's the normal balance of an expense account? Debit, okay? So we spent some of this on miscellaneous. So let's say we spent 100 here. And maybe we spent 50 on repairs. And that leaves us with we spent 250 on snacks, okay? So that's where all the money went from petty cash. 250 plus one, 350 plus 50 is four. We spent 400 of our petty cash on expenses. We're filling that back up, 400, okay? So this petty cash is always gonna stay, we're not gonna do anything else to it. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna set it up one time and that's it. As we use it, we just track where the money goes. This went into our expenses and we fill it back up with more cash. So if another month goes by, let's say we only spent 100 bucks out of it, so we want to get it back to 500. So we go cash, 100 bucks, fill it back up, and then we figure out where we spent that $100. Maybe it was just all on snacks. 
these, we got a debit and a credit, they match up. This credit equals all these debits, so this matches up. So to replenish that petty cash, we just track where, the, where it was spent. We don't do anything else to petty cash unless we want it to be higher. Let's say 500 isn't enough, we're running out in two weeks. If we want to make our balance of petty cash $1,000, that's the only time we do anything else to petty cash, is if we want to actually raise the limit to where it's at. Okay. And that's the only thing that's really tricky in this section. The only thing else that's going to be new is, <clears throat> uh, let's talk about the owner's drawing account. Owner's drawing tracks what? How much they take out. Yeah, how much what they take out. Money. So far, money, right? If they take 50 bucks out of the cash account, it goes in their drawing. If they write themselves a check for 500 bucks, that's the drawing. Now that we're a company that sells merchandise, instead of just providing a service, instead of taking cash, what could they take from the business? Our first company, we only did stuff for people, right? We were a service business. So there's nothing they could take. They could only take money. Now, we also we still make money so they can take money out what else could they take let's say you're a quick shop and you sell everything that a quick shop sells what could the owner take merchandise. yeah they could take any merchandise they want they own it if they want to withdraw merchandise from the business they can do that no problem same as they can take money out it's their stuff they can do what they want with it so now we have instead of just cash for drawing we can also take merchandise so we have the owner's drawing. And when they when the owner takes something out, is that going to be a debit or a credit? Debit. Into their drawing account. It's going to be a debit, right? So let's say the owner's going to take a thousand dollars worth of soda. We're a quick shop. They're really hungry. There's no zoom. No zoom? Okay. Okay, so we're going to withdraw $1,000 worth of stuff. Instead of cash, we're not taking out cash. What account keeps track of all the stuff that we have? Purchases. Yep. So purchases. If they're going to withdraw from purchases, it's going to be a debit or a credit. Okay. Yep, you got it. So this will be an owner taking out $1,000 worth of merchandise. Instead of it being sold, they're going to take it out so we don't have it anymore. So we got to bring the balance of purchases down. Now, if you look in our journal, do we have a purchases credit column? No. So where do you think we're going to have to write this? If we don't have a special amount column for something, where does it go? Yep, in general. We'll just go back in general and in the account title we'll write purchases and we'll use the general credit. Okay. So anytime we don't have a special account or special amount column, we just use the general. So now if an owner takes stuff out instead of cash, it's going to be these two accounts. Okay? And we'll walk through these together here. So let's just, <clears throat> those are the only things different. So let's just go do the work together here. So we're on page 210 of our workbook. And yours looks different than mine because I obviously haven't done all this. But I'll just skip down. We should be on line 13. Is that correct? So on line 13, it says that on October 12th, so we can go ahead and write the 12th, we already have October, we paid cash on account to design fabrics for $563. So first off, what two accounts are going to be affected? Um, cash, cash, what's the other account? Um, accounts payable for? Exactly right. So are we going to have to write anything in the account title for this one? Yeah. What? Accounts payable. Accounts payable, we don't have to, well, yeah, we'll write accounts payable, we'll just do that, and then we write what? Yeah, the actual account, the specific account. So design fabrics, good. Because we have the special amount column, and that's where the number will go, but we got to keep track of the specific company since we're dealing with more than one. 
All right, and where did this information come from? What are we going to write in the document number? C323. You got it. C323. And it says we paid cash on account, so we know that that involves cash right away. So we jump all the way over and make sure we're still on line 13. And when we pay cash, is that going to be a debit or a credit? Credit. Yep. So we credit <coughs> cash for 563. And then we said accounts payable, is this going to be a debit or a credit? Mm -hmm. You got it, debit. Why is it a debit? Because cash is credit. Okay, that's one way. We, when we know cash is credited, so it has to balance, so we know it has to be a debit. Yeah. The other thing we can look at is that we're paying off what we owe this person, right? We owed them a bunch of money, now we owe them less. So to reduce the balance of accounts payable, we debit it. Okay. So we got those two, and that's it for that one. On the 13th, we paid cash for a telephone bill. What two accounts? Cash. Cash, yep. And purchases? Nope. Purchases is only used for what? Purchases. Buying merchandise. Only, that's it. The only time you use purchases is if merchandise is involved. Yeah. Telephone bill is what type of account? Is it a asset, liability, um, is it an expense, owner's equity? It's an expense, okay? So we know it's an expense. We have, we have a few categories for expenses. We have like advertising expense, miscellaneous expense. What's it called? Things that we use to run our business like um, utilities, heat, power, electric, all that. Those are all gonna fit under utilities, okay? gas, all that's going to be under utilities. So we just call this guy utilities expense. And it came from check 324. Now do we have a special column for expenses for utilities expense? No. Nope. So we're going to put it where? In general, and is it a debit? Yes, it is. Normal balance of any expense is a debit. <coughs> so 85 bucks. And we paid cash for this expense, so we jump all the way over to cash on line 14. $85 cash credit. Uh, the 14th. All right, here's the one that we talked about. We paid cash to replenish the petty cash fund. So we know cash is involved because we're paying cash, but what account are we not going to use? It seems like we would use it, but we're not going to. Petty cash. We're not going to have anything to do with petty cash. We've already set it up. So we're just refilling it, okay? So we're not going to even touch the petty cash fund. What we're paying cash to replenish, our total is going to be 309. They give us the total and then they break it down for us. 82 went to office supplies, 43 to store supplies, 94 to advertising, and 90 to miscellaneous. So how we're going to write this is none of these expenses or these assets, none of these have their own special account column, do they? Do we have an, a, a column for office supplies? Or store supplies, no. Advertising, no. Miscellaneous, no. So these are all going to get written down. Okay? So we have office supplies, or supplies dash office, however you want to write it. We have store supplies. We have an advertising expense. And we have miscellaneous expense. Now they've done the work for us. So our secretary is good at her job. She keeps a memo or she writes something down every time she spends this money. 
So she has told us that 82 of this, $82 from our petty cash went to office supplies. So we can mark that down right now. Office supplies, we spent $82. Store supplies, we spent $43. Our advertising expense, we spent $94. And for miscellaneous, she spent $90. I just wrote down four numbers and four accounts. They were all what? Debits or credits? Debits. Okay, so we gotta have a credit somewhere. These gotta balance out. So what's our credit? Cash. Yep, we're, we're paying cash to, re we're paying ourselves cash. We're taking it from here and we're putting it over here. We're taking it out of our cash account in the bank and we're putting it into our petty cash in the desk drawer. So we're spending cash. It's gotta balance out. So the total of these, if you add these up, should equal what they've given us, 309. So we're spending cash for 309. And we don't need a separate line for cash. We can use the first line of our transaction, which was 15, where we wrote office supplies, because that's just a debit. We can go ahead, go all the way over to 15, and we can write our cash account in here, our amount in here, 309. So that transaction involved cash, and four other accounts. We had five accounts, but we only used four lines. We can have a debit and a credit on the same line, that's fine. As long as it's in a special amount column. Two more, 15th. Steven Cafaro, one of the partners, withdrew cash for personal use. What two accounts are gonna be affected here? Cash for sure. In we'll write it in the general, but what account? Debit. Nope, what account? Oh. What are we going to write in the account title? The number is going to go in general because we don't have a special column for it, but what are we going to write down here? What happens when someone takes something out of the company for personal use? Yeah. Yep, it's their withdrawal. So it's Stephen Cafaro. Drawing. And this is just like we've done a million times before because he's just taking out cash. So he's taking out how much cash? 400. 400. So is drawing account going to be debited or credited? Why credit? We're taking out money, so we have to credit cash. We're having less cash. So if we credit cash, we have to If we're crediting one side of our equation, we have to do what to the other side? Debit. Debit. So the drawing account's gonna be debited for four hundred dollars. Nope. And make sure we write check three twenty five. I forgot that on the last transaction. Um, let's see, 325. Okay, so we have a drawing debit of $400. He's taking out cash. So we go all the way over. Our online 19. Cash is going to be credited for $400. So we have $400 less cash in the business. Last one on the 15th. The other partner, Consuela Martinez is withdrawing merchandise for personal use. $225 worth. This comes from Memo 66. All right, what two accounts are we gonna use this time? She's withdrawing something, but not cash. <coughs> Does it have anything to do with sales? We're not selling anything. Do we owe someone something? No. What did we talk about at the very beginning of class? We said instead of withdrawing cash, they can withdraw stuff. Where do we keep track of all of our stuff? Petty cash. Nope, has nothing to do with petty cash. Think back for a second. When we buy stuff to sell in our company, what account do we use? Anything we buy to resell. Is 
No, nope, it's one of our account titles. It's new to us. What's that? Purchases, yep. Anytime we're stuck. So we've increased the drawing balance. $225. Now we need to credit purchases. Our purchases only has a debit column. So where are we going to put this? Yeah, it's purchases still, but we have to credit it. We can't credit it over here because over here we only have purchases debit. There's no credit. So where are we going to write this down? If it doesn't have a special amount column, where does it get written? General credit. So we're going to write the word purchases. And we're just going to put the amount in the credit column, $225. So it doesn't matter if the owner's taking out cash or merchandise. That doesn't affect the drawing side of it at all. That stays exactly the same. The only thing that's going to be different is if they take out merchandise, we have to credit purchases instead of crediting cash. So now they have two options. They can take out cash or they can take out stuff that we're selling. With that stuff being merchandise, that's recorded in the purchases column.